Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is not another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, this is going to be one of the most exciting videos I've ever had to do. Uh, I've been overwhelmingly asked over the last 18 months, Hell Hades, when will your team go ahead and make their own game? And I've always batted it away like, nah, it's not something we do. It's not our, it's not our bag. Well, that changes today. I've been wanting to tell you about this for the last couple of months because we've been working on the setup. Okay, and that's the phase that we're in right now. We're in the setup phase. But welcome to Fateless, our very own game studio. Now, we're going to be walking you through some of the stuff that we're looking to do, some of the people we're partnering with. And honestly, I'm super excited for this. Like, it's, it's been my dream forever to be involved in gaming. I've been a gamer since I was a little boy. And now we're going to be looking to make our own game for you guys. Honestly, I was thinking about this this morning. I was like, which way am I going to go with this video? And I will ask you, like, if this is not your regular type of video, please watch it to the end. Please like, please comment when I kind of talk about some stuff in a minute, because it's really helpful to get the community on board. It like, will really help us out in terms of some of the things we need to do with investors and, and some of the things we need to do with gaining the right IP. So anything you can do to support really helps. Okay, but you know, I've been a gamer forever. Yeah, Target Renegade, back on my Amstrad. Um, Bard's Tale, one of my favorite games I remember. Settlers 2, Sensible World of Soccer, Eye of the Beholder, XCOM. These were my bag when I was younger, okay? They're, they're like great memories from these games. And then when I got a bit older and I started to get into online gameplay, my first ever shooter, Raven Shield. I was cracked at this game, like... Back in my heyday when I was 18 and I had some sort of reaction time, I was bloody good at this game and I loved it. Uh, Star Wars Galaxies of Heroes, anyone played it? It was my first MMO and it was absolutely like game changing for me in terms of my life. Uh, it's sad to say that, but it's true. Okay, uh, just a callback from the old Champ Manager. I think this was 78, 7, uh, 77, 78 or Champ Manager 2 maybe, but when it was still great, yeah. And then I kind of got into a bit of mobile gaming, a bit of Clash of Clans, played right the way through to uh, maybe five or so years ago. World of Warcraft, eight, nine years of my life. And I loved those nine years. And then now we're on to Raid Shadow Legends. And obviously, I liked it enough to even create my own channel and do content on it. So I've been a gamer through and through. And there's, honestly, I could have listed a thousand games in between. Lady H pulled out this little montage of me, <laughs> which... <laughs> I wasn't sure whether to show it. It's probably child cruelty or whatever, but I don't know. Gaming with my with my daughters. <laughs> she seems pretty into it. Um, gaming with my son and my, my pal. We're playing a bit of Vainglory back in the day. Gaming whilst I'm meant to be working. In fact, I am working. You can see I'm working, but something else is going on on the iPad and the PC. I've always done it. So let's meet the team then. It's not just me. There's three of us which are found in this. Um, so... Obviously, myself, I've told you, I absolutely love gaming. I've always been a gamer. And my blurb here, I was like thinking, what should I say for the site? My community asked us to create a game that put players and their enjoyment first. I have never wanted to deliver on a request more. It's real. That's real. Like, I absolutely live and breathe those words. That is 100% true. Uh, we've got Sham here. So Sham is someone that I've known for a long time now and is just a genius <laughs> he's actually a genius also a gamer probably from a different kind of genre of games yeah loves kind of like puzzle games strategy games uh things like hearthstone yeah and basically he's coming in as one of our creative directors really really like smart guy understands game mechanics really well and is going to help us push this through to make it a really enjoyable experience so one of the founders and then the third founder is going to be dan you'll know him better as fiction um, basically, Dan is the media guru. Yeah, he's the one who I partnered with on hellhades.com. We absolutely smashed that project. And he's going to help us to, to make sure that we grow this kind of huge player base, make sure that we get the right visuals in play, make sure that stuff like our socials are absolutely popping off, make sure that we've got a team behind it, which is going to absolutely nail everything. So I think actually from three different angles, We've got a fantastic group of people that are spearheading this project and making sure that it's going to be a success. We're all gamers, and that's really important to us. We're going to be building a game 
which people want to play, which people love, which the community can absolutely help us direct. Uh, and we do need the community for this. This is one of our kind of big things is there's a lot of people in our community and it's not a toxic community. So, you know, being able to kind of draw on that, being able to draw on people's ideas is going to be super helpful for us. So in terms of the actual game itself, a few things here. Okay, we are going to be partnering with a massive IP, a massive fantasy IP. You will all know the brand like 100% as soon as I say it. I'm not allowed to say it. Oh, I hate it when I'm not allowed to say stuff, but I'm not allowed to say it. We're through NDAs and stuff, but ultimately it's going to be a massive IP and we think that's going to be a bit of a game changer for other games in this type of genre right now. It's a, it's a rich world with really cool um, creatures, heroes, etc. All of that stuff is super cool. Okay, so that's going to be an absolute guarantee. We're going to have at least 300 playable heroes from the, from the off, which means it's going to take some time to develop. Okay. All of the art that's required for that is probably going to be a good 16 to 20 month project. Okay. And we're in month one. So bear that in mind. It's not going to be overnight that we get a game, but you will see things coming through as we get them developed. Okay. Really cool. It's really cool. We're going to make sure that there is depth in the game. It's really important to me. It's really important to the rest of the team. Depth is one of our kind of like key points around what we're going to do. And by that, I mean, you know, the ability to, to run different squads, not one squad wins all. The ability to gear people in different ways. Different fights needs different ideas. Um, we're going to be looking at PvP, which, is, which has a sense of balance to it. So that you can actually go in as, as a, a kind of more of a minnow and still play. Absolutely going to be free to play friendly. We do need to make money. I'm not going to say it's going to be all free because ultimately this is going to cost a hell of a lot to build and, and to maintain. So there does have to be a financial side to it, but we're not going to be coming in trying to fleece you for everything you've got. If that sounds cool and you are someone with the big bucks and actually want to get involved in the very start in terms of investment, we're going through the final phases of investment right now. Okay. So there is still opportunity there if you are someone who loves this type of project. But I'm not saying go and remortgage the house to get invested in. That's not the idea. Is if you are someone who is looking to invest and you've got cash available for that, then we would welcome a conversation and we will show you some of our projections and all that type of stuff. The new website is out there, fateless.gg. I'll link everything that I'm going to show you down below. Okay. And basically, this is kind of like a hub for gaming. So you know, we kind of talked about how we were inspired by the community, which is 100% true. I was sitting in a meeting with Fiction, with the HH Gaming guys, and I was like, oh, the community keep asking me, can we do a game? Can we do a game? I said it as a joke, okay? I was like, should we just do it? And the response was not no. It was, I guess we could do it. And I was like, can we actually do it? <laughs> and so we are. That's pretty much the way my life goes. Like, if I get... A sniff of something feels great, I will absolutely strive to make it happen. So we say here, we are driven by the belief that destiny is not predetermined. This is about our name, really. We strive to create engaging experiences that will bring players together from around the world to enjoy new challenges and adventures together. We're going to be creating games which you will love. And obviously, the first one is going to be in this type of genre, which we're all part of at the moment. And so I guess it comes down to you guys now. Like, we are going to be building this game. That's happening. The more you support, the more you get involved in our different socials, the easier it is for us to actually have the right conversations with the right people at the right time. So you can come to this website, which I'll link down below. Um, and we kind of talk about the journey, you know, wh where are we going? So we've got links here to our Facebook, our Twitter, and our YouTube. Obviously, right now, we don't have a game. We're at the very start of building a game. So all this is about is gaining some traction, starting to get some discussion going, uh, and we'd love it if you could come and support. In fact, I'm going to be the first one to like our Facebook page right now, the first one to follow the Twitter. By the way, what do you think of this freaking awesome logo um, that we've, we've pulled together? Absolutely love it. And I'm going to be the first to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So all of that is done, and I would hope you guys will go and do the same. Of course, there's no videos yet because we don't have a product yet. But as we are developing the game, we will be dropping development videos and keeping everybody updated. We've got a community Discord. Please come and join it. Again, it just helps us out. Plus, we can start to get that discussion going about everything that is moving forward. Um, now, this is one which 
is really for those who want to support a bit more, okay? We've got a Patreon set up for this because, believe it or not, and this was actually a bit of a shocker to me, it wasn't just a case of, hell, Hades, can you sell one of your Lambos, yeah? One of your fictional Lambos will get a game built, okay? It doesn't work that way. In fact, it's billions of dollars. To create this game is millions of dollars, which is why we need actual investors, uh, and I'll talk about that in a second. But also, if you just want to support the game development, what this really means is you would get more features, more playable champions, all that type of stuff. And I will say to you right now, we are not going to be launching a game with very weak initial features. We're launching a full game. My motto is, if I'm going to do it, we are doing it properly. Okay, so we are coming full ham at this. We are going full speed ahead. I will not launch a game that does not have a minimum of 300 heroes, okay? With really cool passives, um, depth in terms of the way you can build them, depth in terms of the way you can build squads. That won't happen. Like, there's no point in me doing it. I'm not going to waste two years of my life if we're not going to be coming in and absolutely slamming it. So bear that in mind. And all of this helps out. So um, we've got some benefits if you decide to, to support us here with the, with the Patreon stuff. Um, so any level, and we're aware, we're not asking you to remortgage the house here. This is if you've got a bit of spare monthly income. That is literally it. So for every rank, your name will be in the credits of our first game. Yeah, depending on the, the type of level you do is, is how long you'd need to pledge for. So that's for everybody. Uh, for the diamond and the ultimate tiers, we've got some exclusive merch, which you'll only find here on the Patreon stuff. So this is what the merch looks like. The mug and the hoodie. I can't wait <laughs> to get my own hoodie. I actually absolutely love the logo and stuff. Let me move me so you can see the mug. I love the branding. I do. I absolutely bloody love it. I love it to death. So yeah, you will get yourself a hoodie or a mug if you support at the higher tiers. Um, but yeah, come and check this page out. The other thing with the Patreon stuff, which I think is probably even more important for a lot of people, is you will be getting the exclusive up-to-date experience of what's going on yeah so even from the point where we start to um nail down the the kind of first art designs for the characters uh when we start to talk about abilities for different um, for different bosses for different characters in the game you'll start to see some of that stuff and you can give us your your feedback your opinions which will be super valuable as we're building this out so to do this really well we've actually partnered with another game studio someone who's got literally over a thousand employees they ramp up and ramp down certain skills as we need them we are absolutely the creative direction of this game but they're actually going to use some of their artistic and game building skills to merge with our team it's brilliant it's like a match made in heaven because we get all of the good stuff we get to utilize all of their good stuff and some of the people they've worked with we have been working through this is another reason why i've not been able to talk to you for a while because we've been working on a contract to lock this down They've worked with Blizzard, World of Warcraft, with Amazon, on things like New World, um, and a whole bunch of other massive, massive names. Um, one of the things I really, really liked about their presentation to us was their ability to ramp up the art style. And something which is so key for me is that we nail this visually. And whether we use Unreal Engine 5 or whether we use Unity, uh, that's still to be determined. But either way, the, the quality of their team in terms of visuals and certainly the type of stuff that we want to be getting into to our product, into our game, it has to be better than what already exists. Come back to my mantra of, I'm not going to put something out there which is substandard or worse than something that's already in existence, okay? We're going to be coming in to try and smash this genre and blow it apart and show people what could really be done. So. Rest assured, this is something which is absolutely top of my agenda. Quality of gameplay, free-to-play friendly, depth of game, and great visuals. So, we're at the start of a massive journey here. It's going to be at least uh, 18 months before we see anything. At least, yeah? I'm going to be real with you. Like, There's no way we're going to try and push it quicker because we'll just end up with something which is crap. And that is not going to be acceptable for me or for you guys, okay? Make sure you do go and support the different pages. Comment below with, uh, I don't know, some ideas, some, some thoughts around what you, you think with this. 
Also, give me some flashbacks to some of the games you used to play as you were growing up as well. See if there's any that I can kind of say, yeah, I was on board with that. Anyone who can, we'd love it if you support the, the Patreon. It's really helpful in terms of our development and in terms of our kind of like investor conversations. And if you are, you know, a, a Saudi prince or someone who's just sitting on a bunch of cash and you actually want to invest in this, then let's have a great conversation. There you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades of Fateless. I'll see you soon.